everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we will be going over the Alcubierre Warp Drive mod by Umber Space Im Industries, which was the same manufacturer that I've reviewed for the survival pack and that other modular colonization system pack. And the thing I like about this Warp Drive mod is that, um, first of all, if we go here, um, I have a ship loaded, and, uh, so as you can see here, we can go on the launch pad with this, but the thing is, it won't work. Like, you can't turn on the Alcubierre warp drive on the launch pad because you have to be about 600 kilometers away from another celestial body in order to activate it, which would make sense because you don't want to warp right into a planet or something like that. That would, be, that would just be really, really bad. So you have to use regular rockets to get in orbit, and since I don't really have time for that, I don't, ain't nobody got time for that, um, I just use this with infinite fuel on it. And that, and this is also useful for or, inserting an orbit around other bodies once you, once you get to them. But the thing is, this, all this needs is xenon gas, and, no, no, no. It needs xenon, yeah, it needs xenon gas and electrical power. Electrical power to act, to turn into, which is turned into exotic matter, which activates the warp drive itself. Xenon gas is basically used to navigate once you, when you're inside the warp bubble. And then, another thing about this is that, um, it's simple. Like, there is another warp drive mod, it's part of the interstellar pack. Which I might review later. Um, but the the way to get a warp drive in that mod is really complicated. Like you have to get this generator that like a fusion reactor that produce the you that then you have an electrical generator, then you have to have radiators and it's all just complete complete like the uh like I mean it's realistic, but I mean if you're if you're um just starting out in the game and you need something simple, this is the warp drive for you. And um, basically, this warp drive is not like a regular rocket. It doesn't move you by acceleration. Basically, the way it moves you is by, it's kind of like an escalate. And like one of those escalators you see in the malls or something like that. <laughs> um, basically, it, can, it compresses space in front of you and expands it out behind you. That way, you can go many, many, many times faster than the speed of light. But I think this, I think with this mod, you can go up to 1.6 times the speed of light. Which will, I mean, consume a lot of exotic matter. I mean, you can go under it. Like, you can probably go, I think it's like half a quarter speed of light, half the speed of light, speed of light, and then like 1.6, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. And then... I mean, it takes a l also, I mean, this is kinda not OP because it takes a lot of power to do this. Like, I'd have to, using these three solar panels, I'd have to go around orbit of, of, of Kerbin for many, many days trying to build up enough exotic matter to make a warp to, um, say, jewel or something like that. So, to actually show you what something with it looks like, I'm gonna show you what, um, one of them actually looks like. I see I have one in orbit around 600 kilometers above the surface, just about, about the limit where, um, the warp, the warp, uh, bubble is, um, you know, could activate. And another thing about this is that there's an, I forgot to show you guys in the VAV, is that there's a, um, if you saw that yellow, um, uh, bubble, like, bubble in the VAB, that's the area where you can have parts on your ship, and it won't be destroyed when your warp bubble activates. So, let's try this out, uh, shall we? Since, since I'm in, um, since I have infinite fuel on, I think it, it built my exotic matter completely. So, let's go, let's point this to Elu. Let's see right here. Says target. Um, let's go to target, and then we'll go there. 
And then also when you warp out, you'll be around at at the most at the closest about 600 kilometers away from Elu because of that 600 kilometer limit I'm telling you about. And um, another thing, you don't want to warp right like right into Planet Kerbin or you're just gonna crash into it. So you gotta make sure that you're warping away from any sort of planets. Like I'm trying to make sure that I don't warp into the moon when I activate this. So uh, anyways, let's let's just give this a try, shall we? Let's activate the engine in three, two, one, go. Um, so whoop, start exotic matter. Okay. See? Wow. See, look how far we're going away. And this, and the throttle is just, is not even started yet. Like... I think we're going, I don't, it, it's hard to tell the speed that you're going, because there's not really, this orbit is not actually your speed, but look at that, like, you went three and clock, that's like, This is a, this is kind of a dilemma. Let us uh oh here we go. This shows you percent of the percentage of the speed of light that you you going. So let's point to going ridiculously fast. the game? Uh, hmm. Oh. Oh, this is not that bad. Um, now we just have to make orbital corrections. I will be back once I have made those orbital corrections and we're in orbit above, above and, um, I'll, I'll, uh, if you can see back, in the back left video or left, left hand corner, corner. 251 days have passed because well the reason the main reason for this is is that as you saw i was very high above elu and so it took a lot of time for the for to like pull me down to this altitude that i am that i'm at which is ironic because the warp drive gets me from there to around elu to in like two minutes and this takes 200 days so it's like you know, <laughs> but the main, but the usual thing I would do in these situations is I would burn right toward the planet. But since it was so small, when it was so far away, I I couldn't do that, so I just waited it out. And uh, we are now in orbit above Elu. And to show its capability, we will now uh, take ourselves back. Kerbin, let me see here. First, I have to... You know what? Screw that. Let's just, uh... Hmm. How do you set the sun as a target? Um... 
Never mind. Uh. Anyways, um, let's go to Eve then, cause why not? Let's see here. We'll end this episode off with a bang, because why not? This is the warp drive after all. And let's activate this engine in three, two. Oh yeah, cause I'm I am fall I am stupid. I am not following my own rules. Okay. The reason for this was uh, like I said, you can only go um you can only activate the engine after you're 600 kilometers away from the celestial body. And me being the idiot I am, I activated it at around 150 kilometers. So I just activated an escape trajectory. So let's act, wait until we get to about 16 kilometers away. Uh, now I should be able to activate the engine. Uh, shut down this one and let's turn on this. A hundred thousand years. Per second. A million meters per second. Five million meters per second. Two hundred percent C. One billion a billion meters per second. Two billion meters per second. Oh my god. Three billion meters per second. Oh my, oh my god, the zoo, like, oh, four and a half billion meters per second? We are coming back to the sun in about a fraction of a second. Look at how quickly we're going past the sun. Oh my god. What is happening to my orbit right now? This is, this is so funny. Oh, oh, no. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? I'm gonna crash into Duna. Oh, I miss Duna. Come on. You have to be kidding me right Just go. Just... Well, anyways. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am the Gaming Space. Signing out.